Hi, I'm Wiley Harwell, Executive Director of Oklahoma Association on Problem Gambling. One of the things I want to talk about is the integrated model of supervision by Stoltenberg and McNeils. So th that'll be sort of the technical part of it to talk about supervision from a technical point of view. But then I think there's some very other important things that are um, not so tangible, like by Louis Cozzolino, the book called The Making of a Therapist. And so that's about developing yourself as a human being in order to be a better therapist. And then included within that is also a section on mindfulness. So what to you guys are some things that maybe are a hurdle for clinicians taking that step to go from mastering their clinical work to mastering clinical supervision of someone else's work? I mean, th that's a good question. Um, while there are many of the same skills, there's a difference, you know, and it's, you know, always taking that next step is risky. Will I be able to, you know, will they respect me? Am I old enough? Do I have enough you know, substance behind me? Is there enough gravitas, you know, in my resume to justify doing this? So, you know, I, I think it takes a level of courage as well as confidence. And again, not so much in the techniques, but in who I am as a person and then as a therapist. And, and what is it that I have to share? Oh, yeah, I, I would totally agree with Laurie in that. I, I, don't, I don't think any of us run across many people that have passed their licensure and been through grad school that lack the theoretical knowledge. Uh, I, I think those bases are fairly well covered. But it, for instance, in my professional training, being in therapy, was a requirement to do therapy. <laughs> you had to have looked at yourself and that's no longer a part of the program. And so gently uh, encouraging and helping young therapists be more comfortable with themselves so that by being present then they can allow their theoretical background to sort of be a lens system by which they see the client, but yet at the same time, never forget that the presence of being in the company of another person is really, at least in my opinion, the art of what we do as therapists and learn to trust that process. Uh, not to worry about what you're gonna say next or that brilliant question that's gonna change a person's life, but to really be present with that person so that they can begin to see that the most important aspect of change is connection. You know, I think what Wiley said is so important, how how to have be present with another human being and with supervision, how to find your voice. You know, and feel, yeah, this is me and this is good enough to offer to help other people learn and practice and be supported and be cared for in this process of doing the tough work of you know, counseling with other human beings. I know supervisors will be attending this, but for them to allow the permission to question, to question Western psychology, to question cultural differences in such a way that we really can help bloom and prosper in the field of psychology, what it means to be a full human being is culturally unique and specific. And that has to become a new part of what we're doing as supervisors is to be open to expressions of what it means to be a whole human being and to uh, allow that to be expressed in new and different ways. I, I believe that, you know, one of the best books I've ever read in my life is The Art of Psychotherapy uh, by James F.T. Bugenthal. And um, I think it truly is an art that to, but, but it's not an art that you practice in rote. It is an art that you develop as being a whole human being yourself.
Mm -hmm. uh, you know, if I could put that in a textbook, I would, <laughs> but you can't teach it. You can help develop it. And by, by helping people and young therapists become authentic, genuine, present human beings. You know, I think it's like doing good therapy. You know, a therapist will create an environment, a space in which people feel safe to look at change, to look at themselves and, and to grow. And I think the same thing is with supervision. You, we create a space where people can trust and feel safe enough to explore themselves and to grow and take risks in expressing who they are. So yeah. it's fun. <laughs>